Uh, Paul Farbrace, T uh, Twenty Finals Day on the horizon. What 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 what's the schedule now leading up to the big day in Birmingham? So we'll be in for practice. Uh, some be in to practice tomorrow. We're going to have a, a midday practice just to allow one or two of us perhaps to uh, have an extra hour in bed in the morning. So um, now that we're done tonight, we'll have practice tomorrow probably around twelve ish, and then we're going to head off up to Birmingham around two o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Thursday afternoon up to the hotel. Uh, we've got a practice slot on Friday morning or Friday lunchtime, 12 till quarter to two at Edgbaston, which would be nice. Get the bags in the changing room, um, have a look at the ground for some of the players that have not been there before, have a decent practice, um, and then look forward to, to Saturday. And, you know, I'm, I'm quite pleased that we've got the afternoon game, not the morning game, because hopefully by then the ground will be full. You know, the day will be running. Um, the lads have had a chance to sort of see a little bit of that first game um, and then be ready for the second game but look, it's exciting you know I, I I I said this to you on Wednesday when I came into the ground Wednesday morning at 9 30 before the quarter final you know chatting to stewards and everyone around the ground people in the office everyone was there was a nervous excitement and and that's what we want we, we want big games you know and so we've got a big final to have. everyone's looking forward to Saturday um, even people that don't normally watch T20 cricket are looking forward to Saturday because there's a chance and you know we, we, we said before the quarter final you know we've got a one in eight chance you go on Saturday you've got a one in four chance someone's got to win it you know and some are certain sorry obviously play first we play Gloucester um, we've played well against them this year in two games but that guarantees nothing you know a bit like the Lanx game you know a lot of people had written us off before the quarter final you know on paper they perhaps had a better team um, we played the better team we played the best cricket on the night and we were the better team and we deserve to win that game um, you know and that's not being arrogant or big headed we, we were the better team we deserve to win and, and so on Saturday it's about who in our team is going to be you know, wanting to be the person to be 20 not out when you need, you know, 32 to win off so many balls. Who wants to bowl the penultimate over? Who wants to be under the sky when the ball goes up? You know, and, and that, that's that's what you're looking for. You're looking for characters in our team. And, you know, I, I think that the character and the resilience that our team are growing with every game. And the final group game here against Middlesex was a comprehensive win. To win the quarterfinals comprehensive as we did, you know, hopefully it means that people... Are believing they can genuinely win games and and that's what Saturday's all about and it's who turns up who puts their hand up and who wants to be the person to win the game for the team um you mentioned there that a lot of players or some of the players haven't been to Egypt so it's not just a new ground you've got the Holly stand will be yeah. packed there's gonna be people in fancy dress it is a unique atmosphere I just wonder how important some of the senior players might be Paul just to you know to, to guide some of the young players through on Saturday yeah, absolutely right. And that was the whole point of bringing in the likes of John Simpson, Danny Lamb, who unfortunately won't be with us on Saturday, well, he will be, but he won't be able to play. You know, Dan Hughes, Ollie Robinson, Timeout Mills. You know, we, we, we've actually got some very experienced cricketers in our group. Um, and, and that's really exciting. You know, even Brad Curry's been away playing at a World Cup recently. You know, in terms of age and games played, you know, he, he isn't someone who's played lots of games and isn't a, you know, an older hand in the side, but he's got good experience. He's been at a World Cup. And those sorts of things, will stand him in good stead so look we, we we're all excited by it um but we have got some good senior players in and around our group james kirtley's been there before as a coach he knows it you know he's won trophies as a player you know he, he's been to finals day he knows it i've been at a couple of finals days you know i've been to three i think three t20 world cup finals so you know um it, it, it's you know grant's been around and, and seen an awful lot of international cricket and played it himself so we, we've got enough people in our group who i think will cope with the experience experience of the day um, but on the field I think you know the likes of Mills, Robinson, Simpson, Hughes they're the people that we'll be looking at to say you know just keep a calm hand on the tiller let's make sure we don't get too excited but equally we want people to go there excited and really looking forward to it because we, we've said all the way through don't be scared of your skills don't be scared of the opportunities embrace them enjoy them and have fun have fun showing off so you know I don't think there's one person who won't be nervous when the game starts or just before the game starts but equally I think every single member of our group will be absolutely excited and can't wait to get going on Saturday. Just one final question there. You, me you mentioned Brad Curry. It was interesting when I uh, spoke to Tamal before the, the quarterfinal. He said Brad was always going to play. He said that before yeah. the quarterfinal. Yeah. And since then, he's been away with Scotland. He got Travis Head out first yeah. ball the other day. Yeah. 
I just wonder if he could almost be an ace in the pack for you at the weekend. Oh, definitely. He, he has been. In the two years I've been here, he's been outstanding for us. You know, the catch here against Hampshire last year, live on TV, I mean, that, that was a sensational catch. But, you know, it, it's no surprise. He, he's got unbelievable belief in his skills and his ability. He works exceptionally hard. He's now picking up franchise gigs around the world. He, he, he is someone who's got a great future. And, and I, I think he really is a high-quality bowler in T20 cricket. And he could do a great job. And if we are going to win on Saturday, both games, then I think he'll play a really important part in both games.